Okay, I am making this video to respond to D, who is Tommy3109. I just watched your video and I put my comments on the page, but I couldn't, I couldn't uh, walk away from the computer without telling you that I love you so much and I appreciate you and I realize that we're all connected and on this journey together for a reason that, um, you know, I, I'm usually the one providing the encouragement for everyone and I kind of made that my responsibility almost and, and, I, and there were some times that I wanted to come on and just be real, you know, just be the same way that I fault the celebrities for not being. I wanted to sh show the ups and the downs and I think my fear, my most, my biggest fear about showing the downs or, or the struggles that I went through was not so much that um, people would be put off by them or that, you know, I would be showing my weakness, but that I might discourage someone else who was just holding on to my strength for their own perseverance. And I realized that. I just have to be honest. I just have to be me and I and I have to show, you know, I am not perfect. I am not always eating the right things or doing the right things. I'm not always in the best disposition um about everything. The one thing that I do try though is to feel all of my feelings and I just don't always put all of my feelings on videotape. Um because I never want anything that I feel that's not good or positive or inspiring to pull someone down. Um, and, and you know, my motto is whatsoever is perfect, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is of good report, to think on those things. And, and that's usually what I try to think on. And, you know, and I, and I work hard to cast away negative thoughts and, and discouraging emotions and everything. But, um, I think by not allowing myself to examine and explore the feelings that I'm not proud of, I give them more power, more strength. Because they, they continue to sit off in the corner and grow like the monster in the closet or the monster under the bed. You know, if you don't go to the closet and open it up and confront it head on to find out that it's merely a dust bunny or a jacket hung up the wrong way, then you can go in your mind and, and, and it can become this big giant thing that will, you know, lead you to be crazed and insane. And I think by avoiding my own um, negative thoughts, I was giving them what they needed to grow. So I'm going to be more transparent, if that's the right word, and I'll continue to be positive because that is that is a big part of who I am. I am um I am positive. I know that I'm more than a conqueror. I know that you know my name is Victory. I know that I'm walking on water. I know those things. And I know that all things work together for the good for them that know God and are called according to his promise. And I am in God's promise. And I'm walking in his will for me. So, like I said in the video the other day, if Jesus is taking me on a field trip, I need to believe that I'm going to arrive at that destination. And I believe that this field trip, this journey to completeness for weight loss or wholeness or whatever it is, I, I really, and I'll reemphasize that I think that uh, the weight journey is my stronghold, but I don't believe that it is all of what this journey is going to be for me. So I have to believe that the same anxious, you know, awaiting joy that I have at the beginning of the journey and the same jubilation that I know that I'm going to have at the end. I can't let the middle, I can't let the getting there interrupt the arrival. I, and, and, I, and I'm trying to get that. And the scripture that I was reading was Mark 
4 and 35 through 40 um, where Jesus said come let's go to the other side and then he was down in the ship and uh, went to sleep and everybody else was up worried because the winds were blowing and the you know the the ship was being cast to and fro and they woke him up and said you know what are you gonna do let us die and he said peace be still he he, he told the winds, he told the situation, he told the, tr the, the, the turbulence to settle down. And then he admonished them. You know, what? You, have you no faith? I have faith that I am more than a conqueror. I have faith in that. So along this journey, as the tribulations come and as this boat is tossed to and fro, I'm going to get in the bottom of the boat with Jesus and I'm going to lay on the pillow like he was. I'm just going to rest there and know that if he's in the boat with me and he said we're going to go to the other side, then I'm going to go to the other side. I'll get there. And there's nothing that's going to keep me from it. Nothing will 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 keep me from it. Not me. Not my fears. Nothing will keep me from it. Nothing. What God has for me is for me. And nothing will keep me from it. Nothing. Nothing. And I thank God that I have you. Each and every one of you. But I thank God, Tommy, that Tommy 3109, my baby D, I thank God that you had it in your heart to pray for me and to encourage me and and I need that. And sometimes I don't let myself need that. I, you know, I'm the, I'm the nurturer. I'm the caregiver. I'm the one taking care of everybody else. And I don't ask for help very well. And I don't, I don't think I even receive it very well. But I'm going to learn that every joint supplieth. And you're my joint. And you supplied to me something very, very important that I could not have done without. And that is the positive words of encouragement. And I'm moving forward. And I'm walking on the water. So walk with me. We'll walk together. Success is ours. See you on the other side. Keep walking on the water.